picture this. A serene Canadian landscape, maple leaves rustling in the wind, and fields of golden canola stretching as far as the eye can see. Now juxtapose this tranquil scene with the bustling streets of Beijing, a modern metropolis pulsing with energy and ambition. These two seemingly disparate worlds are locked in a trade battle, a high-stakes game of chess, where the pawns are electric vehicles and oil seeds. This isn't just about economic statistics, it's about real people, real livelihoods. Canadian farmers, once basking in the glow of a lucrative Chinese market, are now grappling with uncertainty. Chinese consumers accustomed to affordable Canadian imports are facing rising prices and limited choices. This is the human face of a trade war. A stark reminder that economic disputes have tangible consequences. Welcome to Revo. Now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Our journey takes us through the twists and turns of this trade skirmish, exploring the reasons behind Canada's bold move, the retaliatory sting from China, and the potential ramifications for the global trade landscape. Buckle up as we delve into the intricacies of this economic duel, unraveling the complexities and shedding light on its far-reaching implications. Welcome, dear viewers, to a world where economic power plays out like a grand game of chess, with nations making strategic moves and countermoves. Today, the spotlight falls on Canada and China, two economic heavyweights locked in a trade tussle that has captured global attention. The stakes are high, the tension palpable, and the outcome uncertain. Imagine a chessboard where each square represents a vital industry and the pieces symbolize crucial commodities. Canada makes its move by imposing tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles, a defensive maneuver aimed at protecting its domestic auto sector. China, never one to back down, retaliates swiftly, slapping tariffs on Canadian canola, a key agricultural export. This back-and-forth exchange, much like a tense chess match, highlights the delicate balance of power in international trade. Each move carries significant weight, potentially impacting businesses, consumers and entire economies. As we delve deeper into this trade war, we'll examine the motivations behind each move, the potential consequences, and the broader implications for the future of global trade relations. Trade wars, they might sound like something out of a history book, but they're very much a reality of our interconnected world. While they involve economic measures like tariffs and sanctions, their impact extends far beyond balance sheets and trade figures. Think of it like this. Imagine two neighbors, each with a prized garden. They usually exchange surplus produce, benefiting from each other's bounty. But then a disagreement arises, leading one neighbor to build a fence and refuse further trade. Both gardens suffer, with surplus produce going to waste, highlighting the interconnectedness of their once harmonious relationship. This simple analogy underscores the fact that trade wars aren't just about economic calculations. They're about trust, cooperation, and the delicate balance of international relations. When trade disputes erupt, the ripple effects can be felt across borders, impacting industries, livelihoods, and even geopolitical alliances. So, the next time you hear about a trade war, remember, it's not just an abstract economic concept. It's a real-world conflict with tangible consequences for people, businesses, and the global community as a whole. Let's zoom in on one of the key battlegrounds in this Canada. China trade skirmish electric vehicles, or EVs. Think of them as the sleek, high-tech knights on the trade chessboard, representing the future of transportation and a key sector in the global race for clean energy. Canada, seeking to bolster its domestic EV industry, decided to play a defensive move. It imposed hefty tariffs on Chinese-made electric vehicles, making them more expensive for Canadian consumers. This strategic maneuver was aimed at leveling the playing field for Canadian EV manufacturers and encouraging domestic production. China, however, wasn't about to let this move go unanswered. Like a seasoned chess player anticipating its opponent's strategy, China retaliated with its own set of tariffs, targeting a different but equally significant player on the board, Canadian Canola. This tit-for-tat exchange highlights the interconnectedness of global trade. 
When one country makes a move, others are bound to react, often in ways that can be difficult to predict. The EV tariff battle is just one example of how trade disputes can quickly escalate, impacting multiple sectors and creating uncertainty in the global market. Canola carnage, China's retaliatory strike Canada's golden crop, canola, is caught in the crossfire of a trade war. China, the largest importer, imposed anti-dumping duties on Canadian canola. This move sent shockwaves through the Canadian agricultural sector. The canola clash underscores the far-reaching consequences of trade wars. Your burning questions answered as we navigate the complexities of this Canada trade standoff. It's natural to have questions. Let's address some of the most pressing concerns on your minds. Canada's move was primarily driven by a desire to protect its domestic auto industry and promote the growth of its own EV manufacturing sector. By making Chinese EVs more expensive, Canada aimed to create a more level playing field for its domestic producers. China has accused Canada of dumping canola, meaning selling it at unfairly low prices, harming Chinese producers. While Canada vehemently denies this claim, the dispute highlights the complexities of international trade rules and the challenges of proving unfair trade practices. The long-term consequences are still unfolding, but this dispute could have a chilling effect on future trade relations between the two countries. It also underscores the growing trend of protectionism in the global economy a trend that could have far-reaching consequences for international cooperation and economic growth. The ripple effect, feeling the heat beyond the fields and factories. The impact of this trade war extends far beyond the fields of canola and the factories producing electric vehicles. It's a ripple effect, spreading through the interconnected global economy, touching consumers, businesses and even diplomatic relations. Imagine a Canadian family, accustomed to affordable Chinese-made electronics, now facing higher prices due to import tariffs. Or a Chinese restaurant owner in Toronto, struggling to source quality canola oil at a reasonable price for their signature dishes. This trade dispute isn't just an abstract economic concept, it's a real-world issue impacting everyday lives. Consumers are facing higher prices, businesses are grappling with supply chain disruptions, and diplomatic relations between the two countries have become strained. The ripple effect of this trade war serves as a stark reminder that in our interconnected world, economic disputes rarely remain confined to the boardrooms of multinational corporations. Their impact is felt far and wide, highlighting the importance of finding cooperative solutions to resolve trade disputes before they escalate into full-blown trade wars. A world watching, the global stakes of a trade spat the Canada-China trade skirmish isn't just a bilateral issue, it's a spectacle playing out on the world stage. Other nations are watching closely, assessing the potential fallout. Think of it like a tense tennis match between two regional champions. The outcome could set a precedent for future trade relations. The world is watching, and the outcome could have far-reaching consequences. The path ahead navigating the murky waters of trade tensions as the trade war between Canada and China continues. The path ahead remains uncertain, shrouded in a fog of diplomatic maneuvering and economic calculations. Both countries are weighing their options, assessing the potential costs and benefits of escalating or de-escalating the situation. Imagine two ships navigating through a dense fog, their horns blaring intermittently, unsure of the other's course. Each captain must make calculated decisions relying on limited visibility and hoping to avoid a collision. Similarly, Canada and China must navigate the murky waters of trade tensions, balancing their respective interests while seeking a course toward a mutually beneficial resolution. Dialogue and diplomacy are crucial to finding a way out of this impasse. Both sides need to come to the negotiating table with a willingness to listen, compromise and find common ground. However, finding a solution that satisfies both parties won't be easy. The path forward requires careful navigation, a commitment to open communication, and a recognition that cooperation, not confrontation, is the key to a stable and prosperous global trading system. The future of free trade caught in the crossfire the Canada-China trade war raises questions about the future of free trade. Is this dispute a sign of a world increasingly defined by protectionism? Imagine a world where trade barriers rise, stifling innovation and limiting consumer choice. Such a scenario would depart from free trade principles credited with lifting millions out of poverty. Protectionist sentiments pose a real threat to free trade.
The current trade war could embolden other nations to adopt similar policies. Free trade fosters competition, drives innovation and lowers prices for consumers. A final thought. Where do we go from here? As we've explored the intricate dance of this Canada-China trade war, it's clear that the stakes are high. The consequence is far-reaching and the path forward uncertain. The outcome of this dispute will likely have a ripple effect, influencing the future of global trade relations and the delicate balance of power in the global economy. But beyond the economic calculations and political posturing, it's crucial to remember that at the heart of this issue are real people. Farmers worrying about their livelihoods, families facing higher prices, and businesses struggling to navigate the uncertainties of a trade war. So, as this trade dispute continues to unfold, I leave you with this question. What role do you think countries should play in balancing their own economic interests with the need for a stable and cooperative global trading system? Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.